This week, Warrior Student Media salutes the honor flight. We introduce the new deans at Upper Campus. The UC Culinary Room gets a reboot. And we celebrate the first home football game of the season. All that and more on, on the, the Warrior, Warrior Weekly. Good morning, Warriors, and welcome to this week's edition of the Warrior Weekly, presented by Warrior Student Media. I'm Alyssa Thomas. And I'm Colin Janowski. Welcome back, Warriors. Today we greet the new UC Deans, tour the culinary room, and kick off with the first game of the season. But first, MCHS sent our journalists to Washington, D.C. to celebrate veterans and share their stories. I just leave one out. On Thursday, August 24th, 90 community members, including 64 veterans, took off for Washington, D.C. The trip, known as Honor Flight, pays respect to the veterans and cements their stories for generations to come. The, the why we even have this Honor Flight is because Vietnam War veterans were not welcome home at all. The war was so unpopular, and the longer it went, the more unpopular it got. So we weren't welcomed home. I was told when I came home, take your uniform off at the airport. One of the resounding lessons from the trip is that many veterans were not appreciated for their commitment. Ryan Yantis, a retired Army Public Affairs officer, recounts the sacrifices that he and others made in the Pentagon on 9-11. The, the one thing <clears throat> that I think is very important for people to realize is that so many people put themselves at risk to help others. We did not know what was next. And we didn't know it was all this close to us. We didn't have any vision on what was happening elsewhere. We didn't know what was going on. Regardless of what their service looked like, each and every member of the armed forces made sacrifices to our country. John Rickard, a retired World War II veteran, stays modest when looking back on his role in the military. But it was, I, I was no hero, believe me. I just did what I had to do. And I'm glad I made it home. It was... It was quite an experience, all for a little island about 800 square feet. Every action comes with a reaction, and joining the military has impacted every vet in their own ways and experiences. Retired Navy veteran Donna Rasmussen believes that her service was the best thing that could have ever happened to her. So I, I accidentally joined the Navy by running into that and recruiting office. But I will say that every great thing that happened to me in my life happened to me because I made that right turn. So it was the best thing that ever happened to me. It's not about what's blocking the road, it's about how you'll get around it. Joining the military has been a blessing in disguise for so many veterans. Brooke Milbacher, a retired Marine, shares how deeply impacted she was by joining the force. Even if something happens and it seems like it's meant to take you down, it's usually a setup for you um, in one way or another. Like for example, with my situation, I felt like with what happened in the military it took me down and it kind of did for a bit, but it really set me up for a new purpose. Um, I'm now working on my Doctor of Human Services where I give back to help veterans in the communities and if I didn't go through that, I never would have been able to get to this point. So it, it actually ended up being a blessing, even though at the moment it seemed like it was really unfair and you know, kind of a huge injustice. I now see that it actually propelled me forward. Experiencing the military doesn't just bond you with who you experienced it with, but your loved ones that did it before and after you as well. Lisa Driggs, a retired Air Force veteran, can't contain the excitement when sharing her experiences with her dad. When Aaron told me that my dad could come afterwards and I got off the phone, I was crying because I was like, oh my God, this is so awesome. I mean, what are the chances of a dad and a daughter going on the same honor flight? I'm so glad we are having a blast together doing this. And this will be something I will never in my life forget, ever. Organizations such as VNC give veterans the opportunity to recount experiences that others simply don't understand. To support your local veterans, visit veteransnetworkcommittee.org. Reporting for the Warrior Weekly, we're Madison Harvey and Maddie Spencer. We give a special salute from WSM to those who have served our country. Next, we get to know the new deans working at the Upper Campus. Warrior Student Media has the story. This year, MCHS has welcomed some new faces into McHenry's Upper Campus, including three deans. The sophomore dean of students here at McHenry Upper. So I'm the junior uh, class dean and head football coach. I'm a dean of students for seniors. 
Ms. Kara Basinger shares her thoughts on the differences as a new dean in McHenry's upper campus. The community, the culture here, I came from a middle school, so middle school kids and high school kids, it's much different. The deans share some of their goals for the upcoming year. My goal personally in my job is to help stop the attendance problem here of students skipping classes not being where they're supposed to be and as always with discipline trying to limit the amount of discipline that students have in the school and make a safe and orderly environment here at school. Yeah, I mean I think my number one goal is to improve our attendance overall. I think when kids are in class their grades improve, right? Yeah, just getting to know as many kids as I can and helping support them as much as I can. If you see these new deans, give them a warm welcome. Reporting for the Warrior Weekly were Travis Coquinos and McKenna Hardy. MCHS bands are hosting a car wash fundraiser from 9 to 4 this Saturday at the Freshman Campus. Come and get your car cleaned and raise money for the band to go to New Orleans in the spring. Talk to Mr. Cabildo with any questions. Now, many students take our culinary course to learn about the basics of cooking. This year, students take advantage of the new additions in the kitchen. McHenry's Culinary Arts Pathway teaches essential skills that can be applied to everyday life and food service careers. This summer, the Upper Campus Culinary Lab got a shiny new makeover. So basically everything is brand new. We got all new ovens and they're all gas ovens, double ovens. Um, we got a commercial oven that also has a flat top that they can use. Uh, we got all new countertops, new granite countertops, new commercial grade mixers. Um, new cabinets, pretty much everything in the room is new. These new appliances and renovations allow students to obtain more experience and practice with the material they learn in class. So specifically in Warrior Chef, they are going to get some real life experience working on the stove tops and the flat top that they would work on if they worked in a restaurant. Um, the lower level classes are also going to get a better experience by using the commercial grade mixers and all of the higher level equipment. Students enrolled in Culinary's capstone course, Warrior Chef, have been able to make the most out of all the new lab has to offer. I think the new renovations, since they more mimic a commercial kitchen, they allow us to like get the real experience of being like in a culinary kitchen and like working in the field. I think it improved the experience because everything has been much smoother and everything just happens a lot easier than in the old kitchen where things would break or other groups would be using something we only had one of, but with the new tools that we got with the renovation, we got new everything, new towels, new spatulas, everything is new, so everyone has one of everything. The culinary lab remodel is one of the many strides McHenry has taken to prepare students for post-secondary success, and we can't wait to see what our culinary students cook up now and in the future. Reporting for the Warrior Weekly were Riley Byron, Alyssa Thomas, and Neo Fritz. Finally, the Warriors took to McCracken Field for the first time this season versus Huntley High School. On Friday, September 1st, students and parents filled the stands to support the varsity football team against Huntley at their first home game of the 2023-2024 season. Junior Connor McLean reflects on the team's performance during the game. At times it was all right, and then at times it was too good. I think we're like a really young team, and we got some improving to do. Despite the football team's loss, the performances from the marching band, dance, and cheers still made the game a memorable experience. Halftime performance because it was just like, it was just so, so fun. Like, it's always, the first game was always so much fun. Seniors Rachel Cray and Adeline Colmeyer reminisce on their last three years being on the dance team and explain why this game is so special to them as seniors. It's crazy that it's senior year and after doing this for four years, like, I waited for this moment for so long and... Um, it's definitely super special, and I'm so excited to see how this year goes. Many others experienced special moments during the game, like junior Gabby Jepson, who describes her favorite moments from the game. A highlight was definitely when we got our first touchdown because the crowd just went really crazy, and the cheerleaders had so much fun. And a little bit before that, we did the powder toss, and it just made the night like 10 times better. Our home games honestly like brings the school together, and it's just like the most fun time of the week. You can catch the football team marching band, dance, and cheer on Friday at home against Sunny Crown. Reporting for the Warrior Weekly were Maggie Machashik, Emberlyn Carlson, and Ali Casey. The Warriors take on Dundee Crown on Friday at home. That's all for today's show. Be sure to follow the Warrior Weekly on all social media platforms, including Twitter, Insta, and TikTok. For Colin Chanowski and all of Warrior Student Media, I'm Alyssa Thomas. See you next week, Warriors!